Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. We are continue creating our RCC house. So we already finish uh, half of the parts of our facade. I already show you how you can create, for example, the facade with uh, different uh, height. Uh, it's uh, just different network, different height. And your homework it was create the first level. I already checked how you can create the first level and I found a small thing which is can make um, a bit harder to you. So I mean uh, it will be harder to create if you are just following the previous tutorial. And I will show you in this tutorial how you can create it. Uh, actually I will just spend like few minutes and today we will continue to create facade. I just will show you how you can create the first level. Select your facade, go to model in place. And if you will try to select the face of the uh, our basement, this is our face of our basement, as you can see. It's the blue, it's not correct to see, but uh, by this axis, gimbal, you can see this is uh, our face. If you will try to create the form, sometimes it's not working, now it's working. Okay, let's say it's not working for your, for, uh, your side. You just selecting your uh, face, and uh, after that creating the form and you will get this uh, this trouble yeah if you get this trouble no worries so we can fix it as you can see the previous uh, time it was worked and now it's not working again select your uh, face of your form this one go back to the uh, edit profile and as you can see here's our profile let's select this profile I will copy it and let's cancel the edit mode. But don't cancel, cancel finish mess. We are still here. And after that, just go to the uh, set level, set your first level, paste, paste the line view and first level. And you will get here is your, uh, as you can see, the uh, profile. Select your profile and create the form. This 100% will be work. The previous one it's working sometimes. This is really terrible. I know you will, you can, uh, I'm not you can, maybe you will get this problem. So if you not get any problem, it's fine. But if you are, uh, you know how to, you can, can create your, still you can create your form. I just using the line to align to second level. And after that, you just should do the same thing what we already did in the last tutorial. So you can create your device surface and pay uh, and apply your panels. So here we are. And as you can see, we already did it. Uh, as I said, all the uh, some uh, details touches so we will do the later on because as you can see we have for example here a bit different panels for example it can be see here here it's more opened here it's the less opened so these things we will do later on he has not a lot of the levels we can control each panel manually i not will create any dynamo uh, any dynamo uh, plugins, uh, add-ins, we will do everything for this tutorial manually uh, and it will be better to, for the new uh, people who are working in Revit uh, so they no, no need to know how to work in Chris Dynamo. Okay, and as I said in the previous tutorial, we now create the floors. Let me I will go back to the uh, first level, here we can see better what's going on and actually we already have something like a, a floor, future floor, and we can already it create. And you will say how we will create. We have the our mess floor. We have the mess form, so it means we have the floor. We no need to now copy paste it uh, from level to level. Better to do that. But for our project, because as I said, it's not copied. It's just uh, we following the idea. We can use the mess floor. Just click on the mass floor and choose the levels where our floor should be. Till the roof. Let me I will let okay, accept the roof till the top roof. And let's say okay. Now we get something like levels as you can see, but it's still not levels yet. We should go to the mass floor and here we should choose the floors. And now we should create the our floors. Let me create the floors and 
I will select everything and let's use the 300 millimeter generic floor. Select it, create the floor. And let's unswitch it off our um, form. And as you can see, here is our levels. The levels exactly going till the our panel. This is a really nice thing. It's going till the panel, as you can see. And it's everywhere. Each floor we have now correct. If we will go, for example, to the uh, our elevation, actually we should create the section. Let me will create the section view because we need it. Okay, we have the uh, this view and we need the section view. Let me will go to the view. Uh, we will use the section and let's create the section here. Okay, like this. Uh, so our section will be here. We should change the uh, target view to the, because it's mine, it will be under the me. Okay, and let's go to the section view. Here is our section. I don't want to see the panels behind, so to change it, let me go back to the level, select our view, and I want to see till here only, just few of our building. We can of course to change the view range, something like that, but actually I don't need to see the, what's going on there. And now it's better, now we can see uh, all the levels, what's going on with the levels, I will change to the shaded one and you will see it's better. And as you can see it's exactly coming to the floor, so we can now create here the uh, interior floors, because this is construct, uh, constructor part, and it's going under the level, so which is correct. And of course we need to create now our columns. Let me I will uh, check the level 2. Actually we can continue our columns till the end. But before we'll do that, we should check it. Is it right? Uh, so should we change the type uh, of the columns for the, for example, on the uh, level 13? Let me see, as you can see, it's same. So we can now just copy it to the end, because 14 and 16, yeah, it's, it's, it's same, almost same. If something, uh, something will be not right, we will change it later on. Let me will go now to the level one, level one. I will select everything like this, filter, uncheck everything and select only columns. Here we are. I don't prefer to use the groups, but if you prefer, it's okay. But in really huge projects, uh, the groups uh, showing uh, like uh, the groups is not the best way. Anyway, if you uh, prefer to use the groups, uh, create the group of the column and copy it level by level. Level by level. Don't use the columns from the level 1 to the level 10. It's uh, wrong. Don't do like that. Level by level. Okay, here our level, uh, it's a basement floor, it's going from the level 1 to the level 2, which is not correct. If I will go into the section, ah, no, it's here correct, because we have only one level. Here it will be uh, from the level 2 to the level 3, it's a relief uh, matter. Let me, I will copy it, and I will copy it to the line view, I will copy it to the level 2, just one by one. And as you can see, it's now not correct. Let me will change it, and don't have. I shouldn't have any uh, top offset. It will be zero, and now it's correct. So the our columns going from the level two, cross the level two point five till the level three, because as you know, here we have double floors, as you can see. So that's why I am doing like that. Uh, maybe some of the columns we will change to the level 2.5 and after that, but uh, we can leave it here like that. Okay, so uh, let me now again, I will copy it, paste, and now level 3, level 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, till the 8. Let's say okay. And let's see what's going on here. Oh, sorry. What's going on here? Why till the 9? Because now we should change our top. Uh, as you can see here, the roof it's 0 to 2000 meters. We should say 0. And now it's going right to till the roof. If you will select this column, 
it's going till the level 9 or 8. Okay, we should have also the sum offset, as you can see, 300 millimeter. Why? Because we have the our floor and the column going inside to the our floor, such as not also the much right. Okay, so for that one, we can go, for example, to the 3D view. Let me go back to the 3D view. It's the panel. It's a game panel. And I think this one. Yeah, such as. Yes, this one. Now I don't want to see any panels. Power panels, this is curtain wall. Just go to the visibility graphics, double, double click to UVV. Or you can find it here, visibility graphics, under the view. And let me, I will switch it off the curtain, curtain, curtain panels. No, curtain wall, curtain wall system, this is, is it, let me check it. I want to select the panel, sometimes it's really hard. Generic model, yeah, I know, so it's generic model, this one is generic model too, of course. Yeah, and generic model, we should also the switch it off. Where's our generic model? Apply. Yeah, now it's not, we not see our panel. Why I did it? Because I want to now select all columns. It's going from the uh, level it's right, it's from the zero, because our level now here, and our floor under our level. But here it's not right, as you can see. Now we should say this is minus 300 millimeter. I say it minus 300 millimeter. And now it's right. As you can see, it's not, uh, we not get any clash detective. Let me, I will select this column, this column. We can select all the columns, just one by one. And let's say top of set minus 300 millimeter, because everywhere we have the same uh, thickness of the floor. And now it's much correct. As you can see, till, aha, uh -huh, the first level. I forgot the first level, sorry. Minus 300 millimeter. Okay, we did it. As you can see, we did it. Let me, I will back uh, my panels. Here, here is the curtain panels and generic models. And let me, I will go back to the section. Now it's much correct. We have the columns, we have the floors on this tutorial. And one more thing, what we should do, first level, even better go to the second level, here. As you can see, here is the some empty side. Actually, we should change the uh, panels, uh, just make it a bit bigger. But as I said, we not will try to copy our building. Uh, I will just try to fix it by this type of the geometry. If you have a look at our mm, reference photos, you will see here we have something like a wall. This is constructive part, so we can create the something like that also here. Why not? So for that one, we will use the wall. Best, better way to use the wall, uh, just go to the architecture, wall, architecture wall, and uh, let's use it 300 millimeter generic wall. And let's connect it. Oh, I should change the, to the finish face exterior. And let me, I will do like that. And like that. Unjoin elements, of course I will get the problem, something like that. But let me try one more time. It should connect here. I'm not sure because uh, we should go to the uh, 3D view and see there what's going on. Let me, I will make it a bit, bit bigger. I'm using the tab key. Now I will switch it to the other way. Uh -huh. And now I will make it still here. Okay, let me see what's going on on the 3D view. Where's the our floor? Uh -huh, it's here. Actually, it's bigger as you can see. We can make it a bit smaller. Let me, I will try it. Yes, it's really hard to, that, to do that, but <laughs> we will try it. Without that, it's working. 
I will use the Lion key again. Yet hard to understand what's going on because uh, everything have the same color. Yeah, we can do like that. Much better. We can do like that. And don't forget, it's going from the level 2 till the level... Level 3. With the minus 300 millimeter. Like that. Because here is our system, as you can see. Actually, we will connect with the floor. No need any 300 millimeter. So we will connect it with the floor. Uh, we will do that one. If you will, after that, we will just select our wall, and we will join floor and wall, and you will get join like that. And here is the same thing as you can see: floor and wall. But later on, we will do this will uh, automatically um, without uh, without the manual work. For now, it's really a lot of the manual work. Actually, this wall. Uh, not so main, we can continue it till the end. Yeah, it will be much better. Let me we'll start it from the level till the level roof. And later on we will just connect only one wall with the floors. Uh, otherwise we should connect many walls with many floors. It will be not not best choice for us actually. Let me go now to the level 2. Here I will change the view hidden line with the fine with the fine and here we will change to the one to the to the 500 it's better. No, 500 is too much, 200 will be okay. Yeah, 200 will be okay. Let's change back to the thin view and now I will copy it to the other side. To the other side Till here. Yes, of course, I will use the align it, because it's better for us again. Align key here and align key here. Let me I will go back to the 3D view again. Yeah, a lot of the views. Let me I will close all the views. And as you can see, here is the part of our um, wall. Now let me I will copy this part of the wall. I will go back to the level 2 again. And now I will use the mirror. Mirror with the with the with the axis because we have the axis. And as you can see, it's exactly on the right side. Done actually. We already done. If you will go now back to the 3D view, as you can see, we closed everything, and now we can place the our uh, rooms. As you know, without the close uh, without the room boundaries, you not will close your flo uh, rooms. Let me I will try it. Is it working? No, it's not working. We should find it. Oh, of course it's not working because the our panels uh, don't have the room boundaries. Yeah, that's that's the problem. Uh, we should cr uh, create the room separator uh, till the our facade, but we will do it later on on the next tutorial. Okay, guys, for this tutorial we already prepare everything uh, external view. And we are already ready to create some internal things like internal walls, like uh, stairs, uh, even the roof. And, but all these things we will do already on the next tutorial. If you, by the way, if you will change to the uh, realistic graphic, you will see the panels on the uh, with the right color. And this is much better because uh, now you can see your result is developing, it's not stacking on the one side. Okay guys, in the next tutorial we will continue with this building. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.